Hey guys, this is Production Music Live, and we are going to take a quick look at Avenger by Vengeance, a new synth. And if you're wondering, do we need a new synth? Well, if you're looking for something between Serum and a hardware synthesizer like Virus, for example, and Nexus, but without a dongle, this might actually be interesting because you can make a lot of that stuff you can make with Nexus. And you can also make a lot of that stuff you can make with Serum because you also have all those wavetables available and you can load in your own stuff. If we go to Plugs, where was that? You can load in your samples, for example, here. So you also have these capabilities and then you have a lot of powerful filtering options and powerful amplifiers and up to eight oscillators. So this might be interesting, but let's take a closer look into it quickly. So I have a piano plug sound here and what we see here is the init preset. Quick overview of the interface. We have our files and presets and stuff here. We have our oscillators and sound generator tools here. Over here we have stuff like amplifiers, filters, shapers and the well, shaper is a distortion and saturator for example. And down here we have the modulation matrix. And in this part here we have several views. For example, you have a harmonic editor here or an arpeggiator next to it, drum sequencer, because there's actually a drum oscillator, step sequencer, a pitcher, envelope for the modulations you're working on, and a handy mixer. So if you're taking more than one oscillator, for example, for your sound, you can mix it. Then you have zones here where you can see how you pitched your several sources of sound and give them regions and stuff. And then you have system information down here. And you see we are actually working with version 1021 and now it seems there's an update available and I could update right away here so it will notify you down there. What can we do with it? We can put up a lot of oscillators here. For example, I can put in several oscillators up to eight and then tweak your sounds. So this is pretty neat. And also it's kind of interesting that you can zoom that thing up really high. So you can go to 100% or something or to like less than that. But there's so many info here in the interface, so it might be actually not a bad idea to put it up all the way and then work with it that way. What we can do now is, for example, load up some of those factory presets and have a plug sound. Well, let's go to plugs and check what we are having here. So you see we are playing a mixture of a saw wave in oscillator one and a guitar sound in well the second slot here where we just can see our wave tables and we can actually load up sounds too. And in this case a sample which you see down here a guitar sample of a muted guitar mixed with the saw wave here. Because if we play only the saw wave. Now this is the muted guitar sound, soloed. If I put this on mute and solo this one, well actually. Of course we have a couple of effects on that down here. I haven't talked about that. We have our send and master effects rack. So here are your send effects and you have reverb and delay. Of course, there are more effects here in the routing. Well, actually, actually, each oscillator has a routing section here. So if you want to make sure there are no effects left, you can just walk down and take them all out. Um, down there was some interesting plug stuff. That 
that's actually a pretty nice sound here for pop music. So that is the question. Can we use Avenger next to Serum and all those other synths? What kind of benefit does it give you? And it might be the one that actually takes the best of Nexus, puts it into a synth, but you're still able to use it like a synth. And it's also pretty interesting that the registration process here is a bit easier. You don't need a dongle, you just put in your number and then you're good to go. So. This might actually be interesting, taking the best parts of Nexus and taking a great synth and merging that stuff together and adding up with a tool for all this big room festival EDM kind of stuff. You can guess that this is a good tool for this type of music. What I noticed uh, when I played a piano, you also have pianos in here, for example Ibiza House. So we have a piano sample loaded up. Let's actually take zoom level to 95 back and Take a look at the CPU here. So I'm already recording this video, of course, but um, let's see what happens here. That's kind of scary. It's kind of CPU intense with those sampled and highly effect chain sounds. I'm running this right now on a MacBook 2015 um, with the most powerful Core i7 I could find for that one. So it's not the worst CPU, but it's you can imagine having three or four of those instances and running into trouble. Okay, let's take a look at some organs here. Oh, what was that? So you see what's happening here, we have a bit of a problem with the CPU on those heavier sounds when we are playing more than one voice here. For example, in this case we are playing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's not that many actually, we are playing 6 again here. But it seems to be eating up a little bit here already. And what else do we have? Um, guitar tonight. And also synth. It also works with samples here. Well, okay, um, let's take a pad sound. Take a look at some of those pads, atmospherics here. Very interesting, they're also mixing this rhythmic stuff in here. Is there some drums going on here? Let's take a look in the mixer. Drums playing here. You can actually always mix that stuff. Down here we have macro controls, of course, and as you saw on some sounds, this changes into some representation of a sample view. And um, This is how it sounds. There are many sounds available. And let's take a quick look at the init patch again. Let's um, initialize here. And okay, it's already warning you. Yes, we're sure. And quick look, it's not so far away from Serum or any other synthesizer here. We have, we can select your wave forms and wave tables here. For example, square waves. And now we can also like detune that, we have five voices here. If we put up this detuning mix here, it's sometimes a bit 
weird, you have more than one controls here, but this is actually the dry wet for the detuning. And also you have vibrato down here. You can also add in noise on every oscillator. And you also have this, you can enter chords here. Well, depends a bit on, maybe we don't want to do that now. And down here you have a sub oscillator. So you can mix in the sub oscillator as well and you can do a lot of routing here with racks that are stacked up next to this one and you have for example your filter with a lot of filter types. On your amplifier, if you're playing around with the decay, the view changes quickly to this um, ADSR view here. Attack. It's very visual as well. This is just a quick view into the synth, and um, we are going to take a closer look at it in the upcoming days. It's quite interesting, it could be well used for festival type of music. I guess. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check the description for courses, sounds and samples. Subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you next time.